welcome to the latest installment of Sister Chat, a video series hosted by the Sisters of Notre Dame to bring women together to connect, honor, advocate for, and teach each other. My name is Sister Linda Marie White, and today I am here with our guests, Julie Navarre and Heather Haynes. Thank you both for being here. Today, I wanted to chat with the two of you about something I think many women struggle with these days. Most women are pulled in so many directions, working, kids, grandkids, church and community obligations, and even sisters are pulled in many directions too. It's hard to find time for friendships, yet friendship is so important for women's mental health, emotional health, our general well-being. But when balancing so many other things, sometimes the friendships are the last in our list of priorities. So I thought we could discuss how you two prioritize those important relationships in your lives. So Julie, I'm going to start with you. How do you find time for friends? Sometimes you have to make time deliberate time. Um, make time for your friends just like you do a doctor's appointment or something like that. I just recently reconnected with a friend. I saw her at one of my grandchildren's baseball games mm -hmm. this summer and we hadn't seen each other in 15, 20 years. We reconnected there traded phone numbers and we have made a point to make a lunch date every six to eight weeks since then to get reconnected and it, it has been wonderful but i think it's when we do those things when we happen upon someone who has meant something to us take a minute there to make sure we can reconnect and then make dates. Um, I do that with a group that I used to work with. That's great. We meet every once in a while. But you have to just say, okay, when can we get together? Mm -hmm. yes. Let's set a date yes. and a time and make that a priority. Yes. And it doesn't have to be once a week or whatever, but a regular time to meet. That's great. And then again, just simple things like to text them when you think about them. To um, share a special time in your life. When I, the last time I had a grandchild born in December, I sent it out to those people that mean a lot to me. Just because it was an important occurrence in my life mm -hmm. that I wanted to share with them. So little things like that doesn't have to be big. Yes, thank you for sharing that. It's, it's interesting that we need to sometimes schedule those things just as important as doctor's appointments, parent-teacher conferences, however we want to do that because friendship is vital, yes. vital to us as women. Heather, how do you prioritize friendships? For me, it's a little bit, um, I would almost say a little bit more difficult because mm -hmm. with my job, I travel a lot. Mm -hmm. I am constantly on the road. Um, I just recently spent four and a half months down in Virginia Beach. Mm. So wow. mine is more phone calls, mm -hmm. text messages. Um, I do, um, it's kind of a, a necessary evil, but I do utilize Facebook um, and social media a lot only because that's how I connect with people, you know, and I'm so busy in my mind. I mean, I've got the true ADD mind that is always running in 50,000 yes. yes. different directions. Um, and so I have a gazillion thoughts, but if I see something from my friend on Facebook that says, mm -hmm. hey, I just had a baby, or hey, I've got a health issue, or I got this, oh, you know what, I need to reach out to that person and say, hey, I'm really, or, you know, congratulations, or happy birthday, or I'm really sorry, you know, is there anything that I can do, you know, kind of thing. So even though it's a phone call or a text, at least it shows those people that you are thinking about them or you actually right. care about them. Mm -hmm. um, I spend a lot of time in my car, um, so mine are a lot of phone calls um, that go back and forth because that's when I have downtime to be able to 
talk to people, right? Mm -hmm. um, but then when I am in town, having those priorities, and I've got a, everybody has that level of friendship. I've got the ones that I've been friends with since the fourth grade, mm -hmm. and I have ones that I've worked with, and I have ones that I know through work, or um, like acquaintances. Yes. You know, so each person, I think, kind of not requires, but you need to devote a certain amount of time. So. The best friends is like, hey, our schedules are crazy. Let's schedule a time. Mm -hmm. We're going to get together. We're going to have lunch. You know, the other ones are, you know, you see them at an event, but you, you do the, the chitty chatty to, mm -hmm. to get to know them and reconnect with them. So right. I think everybody's just a little bit different, but, mm -hmm. you know, um, but I'm also that type of person. If somebody needs me at the drop of a hat, it's like, okay, I'll be there. <laughs> if I can fit it into yes. my stuff, I will be there. Um, yes. And I kind of do it. I don't. I'll admit kind of on a selfish level as well, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm kind of that person I want to help other people, but I would hope that if something happened for me that people would be there to mm -hmm. help me as well. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's the right frame of mind to have, but you know, everybody needs somebody at one point or another, yes. you know, so it's nice to keep those connections and those relationships going. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And technology has been such a big, help to us um, in terms of being able to call, to text, mm -hmm. to use some types of social media, to stay connected with families and friends. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I, I know where you're coming from, Heather. And it's interesting because sometimes, even for me, um, a friend will come and say, you know, I haven't seen you in a long time. You know, mm -hmm. we need to get together and go, let's get some lunch, let's do a coffee. Mm -hmm. And, and just to sit and talk for 20, 25 minutes um, is so good for the soul. Mm -hmm. It's so good for, for who we are as women. And it's, it's a wonderful connection. So well, and I think, I mean, kind of going off of my husband's, I mean, I know it's a, a, a women's chat, but he has this core group of guy friends that he's been such friends with. And every Wednesday they have book club. Oh. So all the guys get together for book club and they go to a restaurant or they go for an activity or they do something mm -hmm. just to kind of keep them on that. I wish we, I wish us as women had more time, mm -hmm. you know, to do that. Cause like you right. said, between work and, you know, kids and cooking and this and that and all that kind of stuff. I don't think we make the time for that that we should. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. Yes. yes, and with so many time-saving conveniences, mm -hmm. you, you would think we would have more time, but we find more things to do <laughs> with the time that we save. So it, it can become an, that can in itself becomes an issue, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yes. yes. And when I retired, I thought I'd have all kinds of time <laughs> to reconnect with people, mm -hmm. and it's surprising. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> not. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe a, maybe a little more time to say, okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's make that date. Let's take the yes. time. Yes. Right. As you mentioned before, scheduling to say, we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. We need to do this. And it doesn't even have to be um, a full day event. It yes. doesn't need to be, you know, because people are like, can I really fit this into my schedule? And mm -hmm. it's like, well, yeah, grab a cup of coffee. coffee. It's a half an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, meet in a centralized location. You know, have lunch every mm -hmm. once in a while. You know, just to kind of connect. It doesn't have to be a, mm -hmm. you know, anything big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes I think just having that conversation over coffee is just yes. so nice. Yes. And it doesn't have to be anything deep or profound. It's mm -hmm. just no. just getting together. And, yeah. You know. Get, get the endorphins going. Yeah, you know? right. I, guess, I guess that's what happens is getting our endorphins going. I think so. And I, I have found, I've read somewhere that women bond much more easily than men. Mm -hmm. You know, we can mm -hmm. get a, you can get a group of women together for a retreat. And I have noticed that because I work at the All Renewal Center. And um, within 10 minutes, whereas if you get a group of men together, dude. Mm -hmm. Dude. Dude. You know, it's kind of like that they just they they're not willing to have, be that open. It's almost like the junior high dance. dance. Who's gonna make the first move? Yes. Yes. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. So it's 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 just an interesting dynamic I think with with us as women and one that I think as we um, we become busier for whatever reasons could be job, whatever, you know, retirement, mm -hmm. grandchildren, whatever, 
we all of a sudden begin to thirst for that friendship and for that connectivity to just say, I need somebody to bounce this off of, or I need to speak with somebody about this mm -hmm. besides my husband or besides mm -hmm. um, another co-sister even. Mm -hmm. so. And I think women can connect mm -hmm. easier. Yes. It only takes a few minutes, it mm -hmm. seems, to find a connection that you have with yes. someone. Just having just met you, yes. Sister, when we were <laughs> sitting here talking before we started, yes, we found out that we were both at Notre Dame Academy together. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a mere youth, three years, two okay. years behind me. But <laughs> that's all good. That's all good. I wasn't going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so, but just really, just wonderful. You know, it's just it, it is, and it's like, oh, okay. And then you start talking around that. And then mm -hmm. other things begin to, to percolate, I guess, begin to bubble up. I think it naturally yes. happens that way, though, because yes, then when you find you kind of a common ground, yes. then other things kind of stem off of that. Mm -hmm. So, it's all but, yes. and I like the in-person meetings, too, because like I said, I, I spend so much time in my car. My schedule is kind of an unconventional, and I, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm on the road a lot by yes. myself. You know, so me, it's the, the human connection yes. part. Because yes, I can do it over the phone, I can see Facebook, True. but to actually sit down mm -hmm. and not have work in front of me yes. and not, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I tend to, I'm a workaholic, I tend to do more of that than I should. Mm -hmm. um, and so to have somebody kind of, it forces me to get more um, back into reality, I guess, yes. you know, and to have mm -hmm. that human connection. Yes. Um, so even, mm -hmm. like I said, even if it is that, you know, cup of coffee or something mm -hmm. like that, for me, it's the, you know, hey, I can see you, touch yes, you, feel you. Yes, yes. you're the real yeah. person. Right? <laughs> <laughs> for real. Right? Yes. And you yes. can focus on that person yes. mm -hmm. versus all those other things. Mm -hmm. Yes, we absolutely. Have to worry absolutely. about. Absolutely. Yes. Very nice. Well, I'd like to thank you both. It's been nice chatting with both of you today, before the video and during the video. <laughs> um, and I hope that our viewers can use some of these wonderful tips, these great tips shared today to experience more of the joys that friendships can bring. And thank you for watching and be sure to join us for the, again for the next Sister Chat.